Hi, I'm Jesus Christ, your personal Lord and Savior. And today, on this beautiful day that I created for you, I want to talk about something that I've been struggling with, and because you are humans like me, you may know what it is. It's uh, something called procrastination. And I invented it because I'm God, and I created everything. And it forms in the human body, which I have, just like you, and the mind, because the mind is part of the body, it's physical matter. And there's ways to deal with it, which I also created because I am also God. You see, I've got used to dealing with things a certain way because, um, this bull's mad dog in me. Yeah, hold on. Sorry, people, uh, you know, despise and reject me because I am the Christ. Uh, just like the last time I came and they crucified me. Here, a lot of people just, you know, they hate Jesus, you know. There's a war on Jesus, and that's me. Sorry. Back to what I was talking about. That's cool. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I am in human form when I'm Jesus because I'm part of a tripartite God. So I'm uh, male part God, male part son, or God father, part son, and then gender non-binary, Holy Spirit. And when I am in the son part, I am in human form, which means I have all these same physical problems that you guys have. You know, I felt pain when I died for your sins on the cross. You're welcome. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you would, you know, show your gratitude. Um, let's talk for another day. I actually, I've done a lot of those talks. Feel free to watch them. They're all over my channel. Uh, you guys need to say sorry. For, for that. Um, but anywho, I'm, I'm God in human form, which means I am in human form. So I have a human biological brain, just like you. And I suffer from a thing called procrastination sometimes. And this is, uh, it's an irrational behavior. And it's irrational in the fact that it's counterproductive. It, uh, it is harmful for you to practice. So for a person to intentionally engage on this is just um, it's self-defeating. So why the fuck would anybody do that? Well, it's because uh, procrastination is, in a certain sense, it is rewarding to the brain, and because of that, you form these feedback loops that reinforce that behavior. So, like, say there's some shit... Alright. Um, so, say there's some shit I gotta do. I got, I'm supposed to build a fucking chiropractor bench, and there's a part on the upholstery I've been kind of procrastinating about because I ain't entirely sure what to do or I'm kind of anxious about it. It's just, I have to do it, but I don't want to do it. And what happens in the brain is when thinking about something that gives you a little bit, bit of anxiety that you need to do, it raises your anxiety level. And then when you shelve that in your mind and push it off for later, you feel a little bit of relief. So your brain gets this, this, uh, this little reward chemical in it that rewards you and like it makes your brain feel better it puts your anxiety at ease you feel better as a result of not doing something that you need to do so in the long run like this causes all kinds of problems it fucks your anxiety and depression all that shit because you're not getting done the shit that you do need to get done but in the short term it it's giving you this reward so it reinforces behavior much like any kind of addiction or something for those of you who, like me, have suffered from the scourge of alcohol addiction, you know, it is a, it's a temporary reward, but it leads to a massive long-term problem, and you can be suffering from this problem and knowing you're suffering from it, but you continue to do it because it is rewarding in the short term, but harmful in the long term. Procrastination operates on a very, sim very similar, very similar method, and so one way to, uh, to start addressing this problem so you won't be a procrastinating dipshit is uh, whenever whenever you're thinking of something that that you need to do but you've been procrastinating on and you know what those things are everybody does um, spend five or ten minutes just thinking about doing the thing and you're not gonna be able to, to push that because you're gonna you're gonna spend this time thinking about um, doing thing I'm, I'm gonna think about this upholstery project that I'm doing and all the steps that I need to do, and it's gonna give me this anxiety. I'm gonna feel it and I'm gonna push through it. And when you confront your anxieties, they kind of break in front of you. But when you when you back down in the face of anxiety, your brain 
it does the, that same feedback loop where you get the relief by not confronting your anxiety. The problem remains and you instead have formed a, a habit where your brain feels better by not confronting the problems in your life. So think about the shit that gives you this immediate anxiety to think of what you know you need to do and um, force yourself to write a plan on how you are going to do the whatever you've been procrastinating on. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a list of all the steps that I need to do on my upholstery project, write them down one by one, and decide that I am going to do it and go through it. And when I've had to deal with this before, because it, it's a recurring problem, if you don't if you don't keep at it, the problem will come back. Um, that's the way, like the addiction part of your brain works. That um, when you are getting a psychological reward from it, something, it makes it stronger. If you if you're pushing that in the right direction, where you're you're um, you're getting that reward from doing shit that's good for you, that can make make you a very you know powerful person in you know accomplishing all the shit that you want to do. If your brain reward chemistry is set up so it's rewarding you for shit that's bad for you it can fucking ruin your life like literally it'll go addiction and like poverty and drugs and um, all the bad shit that comes from um, your brain rewards reward system being all fucked up so that's about it just think about the shit that you're procrastinating on and make a plan to deal with it and understand that it is a emotional regulation problem in the brain that's going on. It, it's your your brain is rewarding you for fleeing in the face of anxiety, and when you confront your anxieties, they eventually will dissipate, and it'll make you a stronger person as a result. And as I am Jesus Christ, your personal Lord and Savior, I do need to be a bit of a stronger person because I am here to um, conquer the world for. Me. Oh, oh, speaking of which, okay, I'm doing Jesus in the Park, where I'm reading Conquer the World, the International Proletariat Must and Will. Um, see my other videos for, for uh, me reading that, but I do need to conquer the world um, in the name of Christ for me, and uh, things are going to be a little bit different when I run it. And in order to get to that point, I do need to get my shit together and, you know, um, stop procrastinating. I'm going to be doing a more woodworking projects in order to buy guns and ammunition and uh, other supplies for uh, doing what we all know needs to be done. Under no pretext should you give up your arms. <laughs>